Hey guys, it's Veronica, and uh, for my video project, I'm going to talk about how creating an alkaline environment influences Maillard reaction. So I'm going to give a bit of a background or reminder about the Maillard reaction before getting into the experiment itself. So essentially, a uh, Maillard reaction is a non-enzymatic reaction that occurs between an amino acid and a reducing sugar in the presence of heat. To be a bit more specific, it is the reaction um, between the carbonyl group of the sugar and the nucleophilic amino group of the amino acid. Uh, through this reaction, you'll see a visible browning that occurs on the surface of a food, and it'll also create a noticeable change in flavor. Uh, one characteristic of interest about the Maillard reaction is how it favors basic pH. So with this in mind, I wanted to test how adding a base to a typical cooking process uh, can influence its reaction time. And I'll be recording this using a timer to see how long each one takes to create that uh, desired caramel color and then be able to determine what the difference in time is. Um, so these are the, the ingredients I'll be using for the experiment. An onion, baking soda, salt, and some olive oil. And I'm just going to cut up the onion into a pretty uh, sizable but uniform uh, size. And um, then separate it into two different bowls, where one of them I'll be adding baking soda to. In the meanwhile, I have a pan over here. I'm going to just put the fire on. And I'll let that heat up while I start cutting up the onions. So that seems like a pretty sizable amount of onion. What I'm going to do now is, I forgot to add oil to the pan, so I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so now that I've added the oil to the pan, I'm just going to separate the onions into two pretty uniform amounts. And then I'm going to add just a tiny bit of baking soda, probably about like an eighth of a teaspoon, into one of the bowls and mix it up just so it's spread evenly before putting it in the pan to cook. And these are the approximate amounts we're gonna be using. I think they look pretty even, so at this point, I'm just gonna add a little bit of baking soda. This is about an eighth of a teaspoon. And I'm just going to add it to the left side here. And we're just going to mix it up and try to get it a relatively even coat on it. And now, since it's been heating up for a while, what I'm going to do is we're going to put both onions ready to cook. So. I just put the onions in right now. And you can see that there is already a noticeable yellowness that's already occurring on the left side with the baking soda. We're gonna see just how long this is gonna take. I have a timer that's going to measure how long it takes for the Maillard reaction to occur. So we're currently at two minutes. We just reached the three minute mark and I would say that the onions with the baking soda have already completed cooking. I do think that the heat's a little high. You can still see that there is a big difference between the caramelization that's happening in the regular onion versus the ones that's happening with the baking soda added. So I'm going to remove this because it's starting to burn. And I will continue to cook these just to see how long it would normally take for the Maillard reaction to occur. 
So we just reached the seven minute mark. It's starting to definitely get a little more toasted. Uh, the browning is occurring, but it's definitely not to the same level as the baking soda one. Okay, so we've reached uh, 10 minutes. I think I'm gonna cap it here. I think you can definitely see that you have browning occurring on the surface. And it's starting to overcook at this point, so I'm gonna remove it. So on the left, you can see the reaction that occurs with the baking soda and onion versus with onion alone. And what we're able to see is that the Maillard reaction can be accelerated through an alkaline environment. The reason for this has to do with its molecular structure. Sugar has a carbonyl group, and an amino acid has an amino group. Both ends are saturated with protons, or hydrogen. But when baking soda is added, it introduces hydroxyl groups that will pair with the hydrogens of both the amino acids and sugars, as sodium bicarbonate will break its bond with carbon in order to form water molecules with both the amino acid and reducing sugar. This in turn leaves opportunity for the reducing sugar and amino acid to bind at a much quicker rate, which is why we see a sped up reaction for the onions with baking soda. Which is why this, although overcooked, <laughs> only took three minutes versus this at 10 minutes. And by utilizing some knowledge of food science in the kitchen, we're able to save some time.